Hello, everyone. Michael Vores for ChurchMilton.tv coming to you from the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade where just moments ago at 4 p.m. on March 17th, history was made as a group of about 100 active open homosexuals being allowed to march in the parade marched right in front of St. Patrick's Cathedral after having turned on to 5th Avenue from 46th Street. This is the 253rd annual St. Patrick's Day Parade held here in New York. It is the oldest parade in the country. It's actually older than the United States itself. Now, for about the past 25 years or so, gay activists have been trying to get into this parade. They have been successfully blocked at every turn, not only by parade organizers, but also by the courts. The organizers were allowed, given the case in Boston, to exclude whoever they wanted to because the parade was designed to honor St. Patrick and, and accent, the, accent the Irish heritage. So because of the tie between the Catholic and the Irish heritage, various groups have been trying to get into this parade, specifically active homosexual groups, so they could push their agenda further. Cardinal John O'Connor had to fight them off. Cardinal Egan fought them off. But today, for the first time in history, a Catholic cardinal, a sitting cardinal, Timothy Dolan, was perfectly okay with this, as he said, as he said at a press conference. And on top of that, was the Grand Marshal actually leading the parade. When the parade began about five or six hours ago, we had a chance to pop a question to Cardinal Dolan because this, this parade and his involvement in it and this particular issue of active homosexuals marching in the parade has been a, a, a sore spot for many, many faithful Catholics. So we asked him, do you think that what you're doing here, do you have anything to say to the people who are uh, so affected by this that you're really, really damaging the faith? Here's that interview, short as it was. Do you have a question? Do you say to loyal Catholics who find what you're doing here a, a great scandal to the faith? No, come on in. We'd love to have it. All right. It's not really an answer, Your Eminence. Thank you. What the combination of the parade committee's decision and, of course, the implicit blessing of Cardinal Dolan on this now has opened the door so that next year you can expect to see many more gay groups marching in this parade, a parade dedicated to the honor of St. Patrick, one of the church's greatest saints, who, while he was in Ireland in the beginning of the 5th century, actually fought vehemently against that culture's homosexuality, which had been entrenched in it. It is beyond ironic that a parade dedicated to him is, has now become the flashpoint for the homosexual movement, and in this particular case, that homosexual agenda has conquered, thanks in no small part to the sitting Archbishop of New York, Cardinal Timothy Dolan. Reporting to you from out front of St. Patrick's Cathedral on a very, very sad day for the faith, Michael Voris from churchmilitant.tv. God love you.